gonna stand right here until you change your mind then. Oh, is that right? Well, I'm not gonna change my mind, so it's gonna be a long night. Five minutes. You sit right here until you change your mind then. Well, it's gonna be a long night, Gilman. Hope you got lots in your drink. You certainly do. Hope you don't get a piss. No, I already pissed. I'm good for about eight hours, man. Sure, you don't want to come see what I want to show you? No, I'm perfectly fine standing here till the morning. So am I. Is that your alarm clock? Why was the Julian two of the most stubborn people I know? I seem to get in a fucking Mexicali stand on. It can last for three or four hours. It's fucked. <laughs> Ridiculous. I got a deal for you. You come see what I want to show you, you win. I win? Yes. I want to hear you say, all right, Bubbles, you win. All right, Bubbles, you win. All right, let's go then. Winner. He's there, they're coming, they're coming. Okay, keep those eyes closed, Buffs. I got them closed. Quit boxing me around. Us. We spent all day working on this, all right? Okay. On the count of one, open those eyes. Three, two, one. Open. Oh, my God. You like it, Bubbles? Do I like it? Look at this. It's unbelievable. My God, it looks like an Norman Rockwell painting. Did you decorate them up, Sarah? Well, everybody helps. Fucking amazing. Look at the little kitty signs over the beds. I know. Barb donated those. She made them especially for you. Look, I have to tell you something. I'm so sorry. Nobody told me that these sheds were stolen. Yes, yeah, right, man. It's all right. They were just trying to do a little nice thing for me. Well, everything's going to be legit and running smooth from now on, I promise, okay? No more crime, buddy. Congratulations, Bubbles. I did have some help from my friends. <laughs> Is it an ice cream cake? Oh, man, it's frozen. My fucking trailer's out of control. Are you sure you hooked that thing up right? It's fucking freezing in there. It's in the lowest city. Ricky, I was meant to cool down a 20,000 square foot fucking department store. Now it's a trailer packed full of weed. Ricky, I stole. Sorry about what happened today. But check it out. Corey? You know that's a fucking house window you put in there, right? What are you thinking? Oh, I know what he was thinking. I get it. A fucking sunroof. Are you fucking on, Corey? You fixed Jacob's mistake. Here's some pepperoni and smokes, dude. Good work, Corey. Thanks, dude. Barb's down in the park. What's up with that? What? What? Well, Lady's out front putting the for sale sign up. What the fuck are you talking about? You fucking asshole. I'm just doing my job, Ricky. You should get one sometime. Oh, yeah, what's he retired? Is he gonna fuck with us one last time by trying to sell the trailer park? That's bullshit. I'm not trying to sell the trailer park. Barb and Sam are to split the assets, Ricky. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, apparently, someone made an anonymous phone call to Barb today, and Barb and Sam's marriage came to an abrupt and shitty end. Jesus Christ. Great. This is gonna totally fuck everything up. Gotta get a little bird. Maybe we can help her buy out Sam or something. Oh, that'd be great if it was that simple, Julian. But unlike she did with me, Barb didn't have Sam sign a prenup, and now they own equal shares of the apartment. So what does that matter? Well, one of them needs.